Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at this really cool cell phone that's also like a PSP. It's called the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. And this thing is so crazy. Take a look at that. Wow. So I finally got this in today and I'm so excited to take a look at everything that's going on with this phone. And I've never held one before. This is the first time I'm ever looking at it. And I just downloaded Crash Bandicoot. I had to like put something on there real quick just to see what's going on. But yeah, we're going to take a look at everything about this phone and see what else we can do with it. I've always wanted one of these and finally got my hands on one. And this is just so crazy that something like this exists. Before we move on, I wanted to show you guys a really cool gift that was sent to me by a good friend of mine. And she's been following my YouTube for a very long time. So thank you so much, Aaron, for sending me this gift and she does all sorts of leather working and I'll have her Instagram in the description down below so you can go check her out and she says hey Ray I really hope you enjoy this wallet thanks for your friendship and stay safe Aaron Lion Tribe Leather so this thing is pretty nice and she made this just for me and I love it thank you so much Aaron see the really cool lion stamp her logo on the front and on the back so it says lion tribe handmade in canada oh canada she also sent me this really gnarly uh sticker thank you so i don't even want to use it i don't know what i'm going to do but i just want to leave it in here and now this is going to be my new wallet i'm going to be rocking this and please check her out she does an amazing job she has really cool pictures on her instagram so make sure to check her out down below and support her support my friend all right so here is the phone and i had to get blue my favorite color and there is the sony ericsson logo on the back at&t and a little hard to pick up the black screen here so you can see but here are the buttons, directional pad, and the, the shapes pad, that's what I like to call it, the square, triangle, circle, X. Then we have the start and select at the bottom, and this little button here, which I believe is the same button for this, which opens up settings or whatever you have open for apps. Looks like there's a screen protector pre-installed. So I got this pre-owned. Buying this brand new is expensive. Here we have the Sony Ericsson Play logo. Square triangle X circle. And here are the trigger buttons, the L. Whoops, very hard to pick this up, this Chrome. We have the L and we have the volume buttons too. R button and if it feels good this feels very good and let's remove this battery cover there we go and here is the back of the phone like that Let me put this aside here and at the top we have our sim card slot along with the micro SD card slot and I threw in a 32 gigabyte card and I was looking up online that it only takes up to 32 gigabytes hopefully we can modify the software where it can take something much larger because some of these games are pretty beefy there's the camera the flash and it takes torch screwdriver just in case we need to repair this the power buttons at the top here so here's the Sony Ericsson right there. Power buttons right there. And the battery. The battery is a BST41 3.6 volts, 1500 milliamps. That's not a lot really. For gaming, that's gonna kill the battery quickly in a matter of, I would say maybe 30 minutes. But here's the back of the phone. And this is a R800AT, AT&T, made in China. 
So let's power up this baby and see what we got for a boot splash or a boot logo. Let's open that. There we go. Sorry for the reflective screen. It's just so hard to pick that up. There we go. Sony Ericsson. One thing I didn't notice about the pictures was the rubbed off buttons at the bottom. I got this thing for really cheap, so it doesn't matter. And there's the AT&T Think Possible logo. Getting a nice workout, arm workout, doing this video. And there is the time, date, 12, 18 a.m., which is not the correct time. And I don't have a good charge because I, I wanted to do this video real quick. I'm so excited. So let's open that up. Looks like we have a standard old school Android. There's play games, email, camera, market. I wonder if the market works because there are emulators and stuff you can download from Google App Store on your smartphone. And here are the apps included. Amazon Kindle, what's that? Asphalt 6. And we have Crash Bandicoot, which I downloaded. That took about maybe five minutes to download. Dungeon Defenders, and it connected to my Wi Fi, no problem. And I wanted to get all that ready for you, so we're not doing that through the video. Yeah, just the old school basic Android interface. Nothing too fancy. And you can't really, oh look, look at that. As soon as I pressed the button, it went to Xperia Play. Let's go back and try that again. Open that. Oh, it takes you straight to Xperia Play. Wow, that's cool. So here are the games we can play. Oh, what happened? I like that uh, background. It reminds me so much of the PSP or the PlayStation 3. So I don't know what's going on here. Pressing this button will give us the refresh and settings options. Oh, I guess we went to get games. And it takes a long time to load. I'm not sure if this is still up or not. But it's loading, it's loading pretty slow. And here are the games. So I pressed... I went left to right, right to get games instead of going up and then pressing left and right. So here are the games available on the phone, I guess. Let's try Dungeon Defenders, second wave. And looks like it's loading. This was preloaded onto the phone. Yeah, it's taking a minute to load here. It says, would you like to download the game content? It is required to run the game. Let's say no, because I know this is going to take much longer than that. So it's going to take too long to download. Let's just open up Crash Bandicoot here. And this was already in the home screen. So it's already on your phone. And it says your progress is saved. Let's continue. Let's press start. And it appears that Crash Bandicoot runs very smoothly on here. You can see the picture. Let's start the game. Hello, hello, hello. So we're at End Sanity Beach. Yeah, this the screen is so reflective. It's so hard. And this was the best spot to record this. This phone here. And I'm not sure what these do. don't seem to work. I don't know if that's defective or that's part of the phone. Don't see anything back here. But yeah, this thing works pretty smooth, guys. Look at that. That is awesome. But I doubt that this thing would 
have any type of longevity of the battery you know if you're playing for hours the battery might just go out on you so this thing is running Android 2.3.3 wonder if we can update that and I try to do a software update but it requires the uh, cell phone network to update the phone so unfortunately I won't be able to do that unless I pop in a sim card but yeah I'm very excited to mess around with this and see if we can add some extra homebrew to it and just have some fun wow look at that cell standby Wi-Fi display gallery phone idle Android system so this is our battery 49 minutes on battery interesting well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than what I usually do, but I wanted to kind of do something a little different here and show you this really cool phone I got in. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun to add homebrew and just talk about it and see what we can do to enhance this device. Hopefully I can come up with some really cool guides for this little phone and just have some fun with that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.